In this video, let's finish out this app by adding the code and logic to work with our beautiful adaptive UI that we've already created. We are going to show a list of chemical elements and symbols, and we want to create what we call the data model for this app. And here we're going to use an array to represent all of the chemical elements. So let's create a property called element list. And I'm going to click here and just say let element list. And that's going to equal, and this is an array of strings. So we're going to say carbon and then gold, chlorine, and finally sodium. Very good. We want to keep track of which item we're showing within the array and to do that we're going to create a variable that we'll refer to as the index and so we're going to say var current element index equals zero. When the app runs for the first time we want to call a method called update element that loads the first element. So let's go ahead and we can place this anywhere within these other functions. I tend to place code that I write that's unique to my app. I'll place it below the uh, default or built-in functions and so I'll, it's just a way of organizing and so I'm going to place this here and this is called update element and here the first thing we're going to do is change a few things so that uh, we set the label, we set the image view and we get the correct item set up. Start by saying answer label dot text equals and we're going to have it equal a question mark. Then let's create an element name constant. So we say let element name equal and from here we're going to assign it an item from the element list and it's going to be the current element index. From here, we're going to create an image object. So we're going to say let image equal UI image. And there's a helper initializer method called named. And from there, we're going to call the element name. Then we're going to assign the image view this image. All right. Why is that? Oh, it's, it's not updated. That's all. For some reason, this looks like a bug. We can ignore that. All right, let's talk about this code. So what we're doing is first we're saying answer label, we're going to have a question mark. And then we're choosing an element from the element list. And it's the current element index. And right now it's set to zero. So remember an array starts with zero for the first index. So carbon is the first item. That name, what we're using is we're saying, give me an image from my assets folder named carbon for in this example. Then the image view, which is this connection here for the image view, this UI image view object has a property called image, which takes a reference to an image object, UI image, and then it loads it. Let's go ahead. And the next thing we need to do is call this method when the app loads. You remember from previous videos 
view did load gets called is one of the first things that gets called and so let's go ahead and call our method update element now let's go ahead and run this on a device in the simulator let's go with the iPhone 5 and then click run all right here it shows up in the simulator if this is a little too big it's not fitting completely go ahead and change the scale all right so first thing it did is it loaded the first element which is carbon now when we click show answer or next element uh, nothing's happened because we haven't added any code let's go ahead and do that go back to Xcode and stop the process running and remember we created two actions that tied to each button so here in the show answer function we're going to say answer label dot text equals element list and current element index all right very good then in go to next I bet you know what we're gonna do I bet you have an idea I can tell already someone is saying it someone is yelling at the computer I know what to do next Brent well the next thing we need to do is increment the current element index and then update element right that's what you're thinking I'm sure that's what you're thinking so let's go ahead and do that and we say current element index plus equals one and then we call update element okay let's go ahead and run this whoops I got ahead of myself and I skipped update element index there we go that's what I wanted and let's run it all right let's click show answer carbon very good now let's go next element awesome and gold next element chlorine hey we're doing good now here's a question and somebody somebody else watching this video is thinking this right now and they're going but Brent something's gonna happen when you get to the end of the array what is going to happen let's find out let's do this all right we're gonna do it together click next and we're at our last element and here we go hold on all right we got a crash it says fatal error index out of range bum 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 all right you've crashed the app good job congratulations you're gonna be doing this a lot because you gotta figure things out as you go you gotta learn how to do it don't worry nobody's hurt it's just an app okay so it's pretty obvious what happened was and now this is showing the same thing twice because we have the assistant editor open so let's if we show this what's happening is hey you changed current element index to a value that was larger than what was available in your array and that's not good and so we're going to throw an error and we're going to crash let's go ahead and stop the process and let's fix this since we know that the element current element index we don't want it to be larger than the total number available uh, size of our array then we can do a check for it so what we want to do is increment the current element index but instead of automatically just saying update element we're going to say if current element index 
is greater than or equal to, and remember an array has a property called count. We say element list.count. If, if the element index is too large, then we're going to say current element index and we're going to set it back to zero. Now, what that happens is the follow the order of this function. We update the index. We check is the index larger or equal to the list count. If it is, set it back to zero and then go ahead and update element. All right, let's see if we fixed it. Click build and run. Let's select show answer. We got carbon. Let's go next. Gold, chlorine, and sodium. All right, here we are. It's the moment of truth. Did we do it right? Yes, we did. Awesome. I knew you could do it. Very good. So we fixed the crash so it won't crash because of that. Let's go ahead and stop this. That's everything for this video. Be sure to subscribe and look for the next video for the rest of chapter 18.